Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Let us be on our feet. Greet your neighbor this morning. Greet your neighbor. Hi. Take a minute to thank God for he has enabled you to see this morning. He has enabled you to come to church. There are many that have not woken up this morning. There are many that are in hospitals. But God has enabled you to see this day, to see this uh, time. Just take a minute and thank God for the miracle that he has done upon your life. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for your work. Thank you, Father, for
maisha yako ambia Mungu neno moja akutendee katika maisha yako kwa sababu yeye ndio muweza nena na Mungu wako na ukamwambie haja ya moyo wako nena na Mungu na ukamwambie thamani hiyo la moyo wako asubuhi ya leo maana hakuna ile ambayo haliwezi Jehova yoyote ile ambayo ni nguvu ya naweza asubuhi ya leo nena na Bwana na ukamwambie aingie katika familia yako aingie katika kazi yako yoyote ile ambayo ni ngumu katika maisha yako akuwezeshe asubuhi ya leo nena na bwana na ukamshukuru katika kila jambo asante baba kwa kwa wewe ni mweza asante jehova mani unaweza kuna mwingine kama wewe ni mweza mfalme wa ajabu asubuhi ya leo nakushukuru baba kwa kwa wewe ni mweza asante jehova kwa kwa wewe unaweza katika kila jambo Asante baba kwa kwa unaweza katika maisha yetu mfalme wa ajabu. Tunakuita baba ubashuke mali hapa asubuhi ya leo Jehova. Maana wewe unastahili na kuiniliwa na kuwa bodi wa Jehova. Asante baba mali. Waponya magonjwa yote wewe mwaminifu Waweza 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 mokozi Waweza mambo yote wewe mwaminifu Waweza 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 mokozi I want to thank you, mighty Father, for this wonderful morning. Thank you for all of us who have come from far and wide for this service. I want to commit all of us who are here today that Lord, you are going to bless us. Kwa kweli mungu wewe ni muaminifu katika maisha yetu. 
wewe ni Mungu ambaye anaweza unajua kila jambo katika maisha yetu Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunapoanza ibada hii pamoja nasi utubariki na tuongoze. Kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. I want to welcome all of us to this service tujipikie makofi. Hebu <laughs> salamia jirani yako na pengine uliza jina yake pengine kidogo. Na mali ametoka maybe I want to say welcome to this service ili Mungu awe pamoja nasi. The Lord be with you. We have come together, the people of God, drawn by His Spirit, longing for His Word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share His glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in His love and be sent in His peace. We are heirs of the Father, renewed in the Spirit. Blessed are you who hunger, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will love. Blessed are you when people hate you, because great is your reward in heaven. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. Together, Son of Father, God of our ancestors, before, before your power, power all things tremble, tremble. But, but through, through your Son we approach your throne. We, we have done wrong and neglected to do right. Our, our sins weigh heavy on our hearts. Lord, Lord have mercy, count them Lord not against us. Grant us the joy of forgiveness, and lighten our hearts with, with the glory of Christ, who died and rose again, again for us. us. Amen. And the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ rejoices at repentance and declares his acceptance that the dead are alive, the lost are found. His goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you live in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are those who live in your house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father in whom all things began. Glory to the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory, Glory to the, the Spirit who inspires and renews the, the Lord, Lord our God, God forever. Hallelujah. Oh, now we now welcome the voice uh, of, uh, of uh, was it worship to lead us in the Jubilee song. Amen. Ask your neighbor for me. Has he made you glad? Hallelujah. For myself, on my part, he has made me glad. And so I will praise him this morning with all my voice, with all that I am. And I want to believe every one of us is ready to praise the Lord. For he has made all of us glad. Oh, amen is amen. Amen is amen. Oh, amen is amen. Oh, amen is amen. Oh, katika jina la Kesu. Amen is amen. Katika jina la Kesu. Amen is amen. Oh, amen. 
Amen is a Amen is a Amen is a Oh, Katika Jina la Kesu. Amen is a Katika Jina la Kesu. Amen is a Oh, Amen is a Amen is a Oh, Katika Jina la Kesu. Amen is a Oh, Katika Jina la Kesu. Oh, ameni nua, ameni nua, ameni nua jamani, oh ameni nua, oh kwa Yesu. Mokozi wangu sema Nimkimbilia nani eh eh Nimkimbilia Yesu mokozi wangu Wakati wa shida wakati wa magumu Nimkimbilia Yesu mokozi wangu sema Nimkimbilia nani eh eh Nimkimbilia Yesu mokozi wangu Oh nimkimbilie nani Namkimbilia Yesu mokozi wangu sema Namkimbilia nani eh 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 Namkimbilia Yesu mokozi wangu Yesu aokoa Yesu aokoa Oh Yesu aokoa Yesu aokoa Oh Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na milele Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na Oh yes I know Oh yes I know Oh yes I know Oh yes you lay you lay on me lay Yes you lay you lay on me lay Oh yes I wanna pony Yes I wanna pony Oh yes I wanna pony Yes I wanna pony Oh yes you lay you lay on me lay Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na milele Oh Yesu ainua Oh Yesu ainua Oh Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na milele Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na milele Oh Yesu aokoa Oh Yesu aokoa Oh yes, you lay you lay on a leon a milele. Yes, you lay you lay on a leon a milele. Shall we not be gele gele? Thank you so, thank you so much, Val. May God bless you. Let's give one more, one more clap. Let's now have the psalms for the day. We remain standing for the psalm of the day, which is Psalm 103, Psalm 103, from verse 1 to 10. The psalm of the day is Psalm 103, verse 1 to 10. I read several verses, and you reply with an amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being, Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Amen. Amen.
and who satisfies your desires for, for good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. Amen. Amen. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, glory to the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. You may have your seats as we welcome the vow team to present a number. Mani, tu me 
kukolewa Asante e mungu wetu wakipa wahiki Wanema mayo imani tumeokolewa Asante e mungu wetu wakipa wahiki just because of God's mercies, not because of any good deeds that we have done. We now welcome the Ministry of the Word. <clears throat> the first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning from verse 1, following. Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning from verse 1. The year of the Lord's favor. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all, all who mourn, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Arians will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards and you'll be called priests of the Lord, and you'll be named ministers of our God. You'll feed on the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you will boast. Instead of their shame, my people will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, they will rejoice in their inheritance, and so they will inherit a double portion in their land, and everlasting joy will be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice, I hate robbery, and iniquity. In my faithfulness, I reward them and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offsprings among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are people the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in the Lord. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the oil makes the, the sprout uh, uh, come up, and the garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. And this is the word of the Lord. The second reading comes from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. The second reading comes from the book of James, chapter 5, 
verse 13 to 16. Is any of you in trouble? He should pray. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Is anyone of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Therefore, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. This is the word of God. Neno lita simama Neno lita simama Ya uli mwengu ya tapita Lakini neno we now welcome the notices. Praise God. Praise God once again. On behalf of the provost and the cathedral council, allow me to bring you the notices. And for the love of visitors, those who are visiting us, and worshiping with us for the very first time. Kindly be upstanding, would like to appreciate you. Those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. I'm sure we have visitors around. Just look around the face that you have not seen any day. So we don't have any visitor today. Ah, uh, thank you so much. So let's appreciate her. Yeah, Karibu Sana. Uh, after the service, we would like to meet you at a visitor's room that is next to the cathedral. Uh, the lady down duty today is Dr. Julie Makomere. So in case you need to reach out to her, you can kindly do that for any guidance or clarification regarding the service. Today is Healing and Anointing Sunday. Uh, it's being done in all our services. The Archdeaconary Mothers Union Conference begins tomorrow, Monday, of 15th April 2024, and we will end on 19th of April 2024 in Kaptagat, Kandia Secondary School. Ladies, please plan to attend. The clergy will be visiting Kapswaya East Zone on Thursday of 18th and Friday of 19th for pastorate. The Cathedral Youth Rally will be held on Saturday of 20th April 2024 from 10 a.m. here in the church. All youths are welcome. And just maybe to emphasize on this, the young couples are also very much welcome. And we have a plan for your kids. Kindly tag along your kids. Let them not be uh, an issue. So we have organized, we are well organized, and we'll be taking care of the kids. Karibuni sana on 20th. Next Sunday of 21st April 2024 is Kapsoya East Thanksgiving Sunday, and all our services will be led by members of Kapsoya East Fellowship. We'll have infant baptism service, which will be next Sunday, which is 21st of April 2024, during the evening service at 4 p.m. All those who need this service to register at the cathedral office before the end of today. Cathedral Kesha, organized by the Mijon's Pillar, will be on Friday of 26th April 2024 from 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. here in church. Sisi wote tumekaribishwa. Sunday school back to school rally will be on 27th of April 2024 from 10 a.m. at the cathedral. Parents are also requested to support their Sunday school children with Kenya shillings 1,000 each during this Thanksgiving on Sunday, uh, Thanksgiving on Sunday of 28th, April 2024. This will go towards the construction of the Sunday School Church. Zono Thanksgiving Sundays are scheduled as follows. Pioneer Zone is on 5th of May 2024. Kapsoya 
West Zone on 2nd of June 2024, Town Zone on 14th of July 2024, Elgon View Zone on 4th of August 2024. We shall have a love offering in all our services to support the Sunday School Church construction. The KRA team will be at the cathedral on Sunday of 28th, April 2024 from 7 a.m. Anybody who needs support in filing returns, please carry with you the necessary documents. Eldoret City Marathon will be in Eldoret Town on 21st of April 2024 from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. Plan yourself well so that you do not miss the services of your choice. Last week collection were Kenya shillings 442,995. Sunday school project, which was both cash and pay bill, was Kenya shillings 129,759. Uh, that's the, marks the end of our notices. Enjoy the rest of the service and let it be impactful to you. Asante. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much for those notices. You've had Yakwamba took on so many activities in the course of the, of the month. Let us be participant in those, all, all those services. Uh, you've had we are dealing with the Sunday School Church. And uh, we are doing fundraising, so slab offerings every service. And therefore, on 28 will be the climax where we want to really complete that place. We've done the crown. We are now waiting now. We are now building the walls. And therefore, we really want support from all of us. If you are attached and you are able to give us cement, to the Shukuru Sana. We also are looking for cement, we are looking for stones, and by Nakuchenga. One stone is 100 shillings, and therefore we need about 2,800 2, 2, stones to, to complete that building. And therefore I really need the charge to support all of us, to find a car seat, what we call our way to Ampata Mali, and buy what our Abud Mungu. Amanam Nagani. So are you supporting us this journey? Hello? Welcome, Kodo. You come on a support safari. I believe we'll complete it as soon as possible before the rain is heavy so that our Sunday school will move from the tent to that particular place. We'll be doing it every Sunday. Every Sunday, Baga to Fika Mali. So when, as you come every Sunday, have something for your offerings and also have something for the Sunday school so that we are able to, to proceed on. Every Sunday, also, we have a rambe, so we have, uh, we have guests of honors. Uh, who are in charge of the Bade Sadaka? We welcome the guest of honor to guide us through in the, that fundraising. And uh, so every Sunday, we are able to be one of the guests, Tashukuru Mungu, that we are able to build this project easily. Otherwise, Wajabunga to Bariki, you could also, in the course of the week, just bring cement, bring whatever is there to support the work of God in this church. Uh, today, we are privileged to have with us our dear sister Rosemary Pino, who will be sharing with us this wonderful day. This day is for anointing service. <clears throat> and therefore, let's all stand and we have a song to welcome her to share with us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound.
Let us believe and pray. Heavenly Father, by your grace we are here. By your grace you are showering us once and again with the power of the Lord. We surrender unto you. As we invite your presence to be with us, Lord, come and reign. Thank you for the assurance. The Lord, you are taking charge and you're going to speak to us. Anoint your message. We are eager to hear from you. Lord, this is our prayer. The Lord of thanksgiving. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time. Amen. We bless the Lord. Uh -huh. My prayer is that you just turn to your neighbor. Kindly just turn to your neighbor and tell him or her neighbor, feel at Jesus' spirit. You are not yet done. Kindly turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, feel at Jesus' feet and position yourself for your blessings. Amen. Is that person positioned for their blessing? Amen. I'm blessed this afternoon. Is it afternoon this morning? By the grace of the Lord, I'm saved. I am Rosemary Pino, uh, priest serving here by the grace of God. Uh, married with uh, uh, four biological children and a number adopted. Praise the Lord. I uh, was with my husband here. I've just got in. Got, uh, to take some tea because we woke up in the morning without tea just to come and serve the Lord. So we are here, bless the Lord. And uh, by the grace of the Lord, I'm saved. I have a testimony that Jesus Christ saved me and he sustained me and I'm still in that journey towards the cross by his grace. I bless the Lord for this opportunity for the provost have given me uh, this hour to share on his behalf. Of course, it's a very great day for us, very great day indeed as a church, that normally we assemble here once or twice in a year just to celebrate this special day of uh, embracing uh, uh, God's restorations through healing and anointing. We don't need to take it as a tradition, but this should be a reminder for our scriptural foundations that we need to uh, uh, be staring at day by day. And therefore, I'm blessed and I thank the Lord. Thank you so much, Provost, for that great honor and God bless you. Uh, we were read three readings. The first was Psalms 103 that uh, we was read very well. We also read Isaiah 61 and following. We also read James 5, 14, and 16. And therefore, brethren, I know that our gathering here is to delve into the profound thoughts of God's healing and anointing's power, of which I've said is a reminder to our scriptural foundations. And therefore, I wanted us to go straight away to the biblical meaning and healings uh, of healings and anointings. Uh, what is this healing? When you saw in our walls, you saw in your wall, you saw yesterday uh, through our uh, secretary's messages, you saw the message that today we shall embark on embracing an installation of healings and also the anointings, what really came to your mind. Now, healing, it refers to the restoration of physical, emotional, or spiritual health. This can involve miraculous intervention or the natural process of recovery. While as anointing is typically uh, a consecration or setting apart for a special purpose. This anointing of the prayer, this anointing actually generated from the Old Testament, anti uh, uh, readings, when we can confirm 
from 1 Samuel 16, 13, we see the message saying this, then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of brethren, and the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and from that day henceforth. And therefore, this is a significance of anointing in the Old Testament that symbolizes the empowerment or a blessing by the Holy Spirit for a particular task or for a special, unique ministry. What else in the New Testament? It was associated with commissioning and empowering people to carry out their mission. We can take a classic example of Jesus' commissioning in Matthew chapter, uh, chapter 3 and 16 and 17. That when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased of. A real commissioning. A significancy of the special divine anointing from God and the accompaniment of the power of acknowledgement for the safety of his ministry. And therefore, friends, we, we've heard what anointing is and we've known now what healing is. And in comparison with that, I can see the, the second part of, of the definition of what anointing was. Three things must happen when you are anointed. Number one, let us take a classic example of Matthew 3, 16, 17, that things happen. One of them was the heavens opened during the anointings. Praise the Lord. The heavens opened during the anointing. When Jesus Christ was at the center of being baptized, we can see uh, as a classic example at the screen. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened. Okay, that was the first part. When the anointing came, the heavens opened. Then number two, the Spirit of God descended from above. He descended. Uh, for his protection, you see. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, okay? And number C, which is three, the voice of God was heard, a symbol of acknowledgement for his ministry. Praise the Lord. So when anointing comes in our lives, then there are other mysteries that we cannot understand. There are other things that we cannot even explain because it is the doings of the Lord. The doings of the Lord are always mysteries that we can't explain. Even so, scholars are working on this, but they've never gotten to the, uh, enter, to the uh, genesis of it. And now, something again happened. After those three points, in Luke 4, 18, we are seeing the genesis of Jesus' ministry. Uh, so that he can now fulfill the assignments that I'd say that are unique, that are bestowed upon him. The meaning is now bring, brought on board that after the three had happened, now the assignment comes. After the assignments, now we see him doing the prophecies in Isaiah 61 that was our first reading. Number one, the assignments were this, to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to recover sight of the blind, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. A prophecy we are seeing in Isaiah 61 verses 1. That the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and to release from darkness for the prisoners. Whatever is being fulfilled in, in, um, in, um, in Luke 4, verses 18. Now, Jesus is going out for those assignments. Again, as another classic example, you can see Ezekiel 37, 1 and following, 
Ezekiel 37, 1 and following. We can see it at the screen so that we can do the comparison on how the, the Spirit of the Lord can come during the anointing. Alan can project Ezekiel 37, 1 and following. As he does the projection, there we are. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out of the Spirit of the Lord and sent me in the middle of a valley, and it was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, son of man, can these bones live? I said, sovereign Lord, you alone knows. And now you can proceed at your own timing. You can see the scenario where the prophecy is being fulfilled through the anointing of the Lord. You see, the prophecy is accompanied by the Holy Spirit. You see, and the bones came together, and there were uh, flesh on it, and now we saw a great valley, a great army, a great army of the people of the Lord. Great army. That was a symbol of the Lord's doing in, um, through his anointing. And therefore, in this scenario, the word of God recounts the, miracle, the miraculous visions of the valley of the dry bones where God breathes life and vitality into that which was hopeless, that which was dead, that which was lifeless. Through this anointing, it will be brought on board to life and whole life in Jesus' name. Which is a reminder of God's desire to bring wholeness and revival to his people through his divine emp empowerment, through the act of, about just to do of anointing and healing by the Holy Spirit. In James 5, 14 and 15, again another reminder. Another reminder, another reminder in James, we can project Alan, five James, 14 and 15. Okay, verses 14. B 5, 14 to 15. Alan, can we move together? 5, 14. It's okay. Praise the Lord. We can do it our law alone. Okay, in our Bibles, we can do it. I think Alan is there. Is anyone among you, you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of of the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Is everyone among you sick? And therefore, that spirit of anointing is now brought on board and brought to us as a family that we know where to run to in times of such like crisis. And therefore, it is a ministry that illustrates the profound impact of a belief through believers that we are consecrated for a certain sacred purpose and we have a place to run to. That's why it's a reminder to us that there is a place where to run to. There are elders here. There are elders here of the church. That's where the Lord has brought me right away from Bondo to come and anoint you here. Praise the Lord. The Lord has brought Provos right away from Kapsabet to come and anoint you here. Not that people are not there. It is because of you. Praise the Lord. And that's why we are saying you are at the right place. You should not go to Shakaola in Mombasa. We are here for you. Praise the Lord. Now turn to your neighbor. Mombia, hey, hey, these people are there for us. Amen. Does he, is, he, is, she, is he or she there for you? For us here. We are here for you. The Lord has brought us because it is biblical. That I come from my place to come and meet you. Because you desire this healing. You desire this anointing. And they are, let it never go scot free. The Lord has brought us here with that purpose. And therefore the elders are there. It is biblical. James is doing us a reminder that when you feel you are down, you feel you are broken, you feel you are empty, don't go somewhere else. In the Anglican church, 
The spirit of the Lord is also there. The spirit of healing is also there. Hey, the spirit of exorcism is also here. Praise the Lord. Yes, it is here. Don't run away from this church. This is a very structured church. A very well done church. And that's why when you are starting the service, you saw the choir, you saw the voting, letting us in with a praise and worship song to signify the presence of the Lord. They were telling us, you guys come at the right place. There is here, here. There is healing here. There is peace here. Na waka himba hii wimbo, ni kuwanema. Praise the Lord. Everything is possible. What do we need to note in this divine ministry? Number one, God's heart is moved with compassion towards the broken, the sick, the oppressed. We can read Psalms 34, 14. That the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and says the crushed in spirit. When we are reading the very, very uh, reading that we are given today of, uh, of Isaiah, in verses 7, in verse 7 it says, Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of decrease, you will receive, rejoice in your inheritance. And so will inherit a double portion in your land, and everlasting joy will be yours. And therefore, God's heart is moved with compassion towards us that are broken. Praise the Lord. Towards me that I'm broken. Towards you that is empty. When the Lord touches you, he feels good. He feels good. Likewise to us, when we are touched, we feel rejuvenated because the power of the Lord is supreme. In that anointing that you're going to receive, may it speak the power of new synergy upon you in the name of Jesus. And the anointing with oil, number two, is a move. It's more than just a symbolical act. It's more than just a symbolic act. It is a tangible expression of God's presence of power to bring about transformation and renewal. And therefore, today's service, we are proclaiming transformation and renewal upon our health, upon our families, upon our nation, and everywhere in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not just a symbolic act that we are pouring that anointing in you and you go cause free with the touch of the Lord. Without the touch of the Lord, the Lord should speak a special transformation and renewal upon being touched. When I was singing this song, I felt touched. But when I was singing, somebody touched me. When I was singing, somebody touched me. When I was singing, somebody touched me. I know it was the hands of the Lord. When I was praying, somebody touched me. When I was praying, sing with me. When I was praying, somebody touched me. I know it was the hands of the Lord. May we feel the touch. Even as much as you shall come lining up, May you feel the touch and say, I know it is the Lord that has touched me. I know, you see, I know. I know, I feel the power. I feel his presence. I feel the anointing. Praise the Lord. Yes, the, when the power of the Lord befalls us, we need to feel as we feel, we know then we are transformed and we are renewed. In Matthew 14, 14, when Jesus landed, when Jesus landed for his ministry, he saw a large crowd and he had compassion with them. And people felt the compassionate heart that he had with them, meaning this anointing brings down the presence of God and people feel 
in that mood of his presence. People just feel the mood. In the morning, we were singing this song. You see, sometimes we go away from Anglica. We say, I want where we can dance, we can do this. But do you know what? Even in Tenzi, Sakiroho, I think I have it. Even in this Tenzi, these wordings are quite touching. When you read, one for, so read song, song 129, song 129, it really lived our spirit and it makes the Lord come down. Or we can, can even do 144. That I'm pressing on the upward, the upward way. Bele nina endelea nina zidi kutembea maombi yu yasikie ebwana u nispa di shem ebwana u minu just close your eyes and you just sing that song. You feel the presence of the Lord. Just close your eyes and sing it. of the Lord. And that's why we are here today. That we may feel that presence of the Lord. We may hear him in the spirit. Sometimes we get immersed in the spiritual realm so that we just meet the Lord. If you want to meet the Lord, you must be immersed in the spirit. You cannot mix physical and spiritual. They cannot. You must go spiritual for you to feel this renewal. And therefore, before we go there, we ask God, renew my spirit. Renew my power. Renew it, God. I need you. A real tangible expression of God's presence and his power. Number three, healing and anointing is not only soul, but holistic phenomenon. Isaiah 53 verses 5 says, he was pierced for our transgressions. And therefore, through his stripes, we are wholly healed. Spiritually, we need the Lord. Physically, we need the Lord. Socially, we need the Lord. And even financially, we need his blessings. It's a holistic phenomenon. We need the Lord. Even in our current crisis, we just need the Lord. I was saying this by myself that the nation will go right when the church will stand in oneness because the remedy is from the church I'm reminded of Bishop Okulo I'm reminded of Bishop Muge I'm reminded of our heroes that have slept I'm reminded of their doings but I know we are going there. When this anointing comes, may the spirit come unto the church to heal the nation. I am the remedy of the nation. I am the remedy. If my people shall turn to him, that is what First Chronicles says, 7.14, if my people who are called by name shall I humble themselves and call upon my name, then the nation shall be healed. Say amen. It is your responsibility and my responsibility. And that's why again, in Second Chronicles 2017, 
what I need to do as a Christian is to take up my position. That is what he say. You will not have to fight this battle. But take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance of the Lord that I will give unto you. Praise the Lord to take our positions. As anointed, consecrated, and set apart persons of the Lord. If I will hearken to the voice, take my position as a priest, kneel, walk by my knee, and tell God, hail my nation. Where as a Christian, as a servant of the Lord, when we shall take our positions rightfully and cry to the Lord, the nation shall be healed. It's not upon the president, it's not upon the government. It is me and you, those who are in the church. And I want to quote what the government said in Baringo. They said, Baringo only needs a spiritual healing. Buenas if you Hello. They only need a spiritual touch. Meaning, the church is, the, the government is saying, where is the presence of the church? Who shall come down, identify with the Lord, acknowledge their position, and cry to the Lord? Hallelujah. Through this anointing, we shall take our positions. Through this anointing, we shall be reminded that you are my brother. And I am on your sister. We walk together in unity and run to the cross of Christ. Number three. Number four, our faith plays a crucial role in the healing process. What we need is to just position ourselves, the way we said. So by faith, we move. By faith, after you've been anointed, by faith, together we move. And say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. During Obama's reign in America, he said, yes, we can. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, we can. He never said, yes, I can. But he said, yes, we can. By faith. What we need not to do is never to assist God perform his ways. Allow God reign. We just need to surrender and submit to his will because it is his doings. Number five, healing is a journey rather than an instantaneous event. It's not an instant issue, but it is a journey. In John 5, 1 and following, we are being reminded that this man waited for a period of time. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate, a pool which in Aramaic is called Bethsaida, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, and the paralyzed. And one who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, somebody else goes down ahead of me. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, then Jesus Say to him, get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Healing is a journey. Healing is a journey. This person waited for 30 good, 38 good years. And therefore, even after the anointing, you anointed me and I never got healed. Now, where is your power? Praise the Lord. Now you Anglicans who tell us not to go to Pentecostals. We are not seeing the miracles. Hello? Ah, wait. Hello? Hey, ambia mwenzako, utangojea. Hey, usikue naraka. Wana sifiwe. 
This person waited for 30 good, 38 good years. And therefore, it is a journey. It requires patience, perseverance, and unwavering trust. God's timing and provision. And again, never be quite quick to judge why God has delayed after the anointing. Just wait and you shall see the grace of the Lord. Just wait. Kisiagia mungu usiaga? Pole pole. Do you know how this clergy survive? Might meet the provost might not have the, the need to say it, but let me say on his behalf. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The clergy are serving by the grace. And somebody one time, my father is a priest, and this is what he was telling me. Yakwamba, our blessings are just like that drop from the grass touched house. If you've been from that house, you know, when it is leaking, you place the, 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 the basin. It's like it will never be full. But in the whole night, it ends up tap, tap, tap. Those are the blessings of the priest that are serving you. Praise the Lord. Tap, tap. In the morning, the basin will be full. But the color of the water in that basin is somehow kastrungi hivi. Kastrong tea. And likewise to your blessing, which you go to the tap and open. Place a, basket, a bucket and within a span of five minutes it is full. Hello. Ours is patience. And through that dripping water, my child goes to school. Through that dripping water, my child meets your son in the national school. Hello. Say amen. Through that drip of water, I also take kakuku na chapo. Through that drip of water. Say amen. amen. The power of the anointing. The power of the anointing in me. The power of anointing in the pro. You see, he stands here and he's doing a lot. Because of the anointing in him. The grace. The grace. So when you taste that water, it's somehow salty. Praise the Lord. The grace. The grace of the Lord. What are the three principles that you need to take home? Number one, power of transformation is fact when we allow the Lord anoint and heal by faith. That is why Ezekiel is being asked by the prophecy, by the Lord. He's asking him, son of man, verses 30, chapter 37, can these bones live? Hey, praise the Lord. Son of man, in the midst of this valley, can these bones move and live? And he says, you know, Father, our Lord is all-knowing God. He allows the Lord to speak his prophecy. And when he allowed the power of transformation befell the valley and the bones were heard moving with a loud voice. And the Bible attests to us that even now the flesh was seen. And at the end of the day, the spirit befell them. And now, there stood a great army. Hallelujah. Yes. Our state of barrenness can be transformed today through this anointing. Is anything too barren in your life? Is anything a stale? Is anything amiss? The Lord is saying, allow the Lord to speak. For he is, a, he is an unknowing God. Very potential God. Allow him to speak to that family. Probably you waited for the child for one year. 
Allow the Lord speak. The Lord is asking you, can this family still produce? You even waited even for 30 years. You even waited for 20 years. You are at a stale. The Lord is asking us, can it still happen? Can it? Allow it to the Lord. The Lord has the power to transform anything barren to become productive in Jesus' mighty name. Number two, may anointing and healing speak the ministry of reconciliation to us. Isaiah 61 verses 1. May this prophecy of Isaiah remind us of the good news that was taken to the poor, that they were taken to the captives. Good news. Because when the favor of the Lord has come, good news must accompany by the grace of God. May today's anointing speak to somebody who's broken in heart. The power of healing, the power of peace, the power of reconciliation and restoration to us and even to other people. May it speak forgiveness. May our heart be lightened with peace. We were saying in the morning, you cannot go receive the anointings when you've carried somebody at the back. When you say, Sikuachili mpaka January. Sikuachili mpaka Yesu Arudi. Sikuachili. Hi anointing na chukua tu lakini mimi na wewe. Let it go. And let God come. Forgive that person. And allow the Lord reign. Number three. May the anointing speak special favor to those who are rejected, to those who are oppressed. Allow the oppressors to proceed, for their times are numbered. Hallelujah. Their times are numbered. Their days are numbered. Let them oppress you. Let them. But just do your will. You are favored. You are favored. Hallelujah. I am saying you are favored. In the name of Jesus. Even in your place of your work. Place. You are favored. You, do you know what some, sometimes even get to your place of work. is like mligombana na mutu usiku. Anakuona kama scarce crow. Anashanga, what are you still doing here? Those people's numbers, days are numbered. Hallelujah. When I am favored, I am favored. When you are favored, you are favored. And that's what Isaiah is saying. I, that he is proclaiming the year of favor. That this power of rejection be pulled down by the grace of God. Receive your position. Receive your elevation. Receive in the name of Jesus. Because it is the year of the Lord. It's the time of the Lord. It's the moment of the Lord. Receive it in Jesus' name. Even at your home, you might just be rejected for no apparent reason. You speak this and say, what do you say? What power do you have to say? The Lord will speak on your behalf. Just be silent. Take your position. Remember the position. Remember the position. Take your position and wait upon the Lord. Number four, may the anointing empower us to reach out to the marginalized. The marginalized are waiting for you. The, 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 the poor, the, the, those oppressed. See, after this anointing, don't let it go cost free. Serve others also. Go to the hospital, speak blessings, speak restoration, speak healings, because the Lord will have consecrated you and set you apart purpose for that ministry go out and reach out number five may this anointing speak God's glory and assurance glory and assurance in Ezekiel 37 verses 10 that prophecy brought people to stand tall at their feet and they declared that that was the power of God may your face glow in the presence of your oppressors. May the spirit of the Lord shine on your way. Shine in your family. 
There's a certain sister of mine that was telling me that even this anointing, you can do even on baptism of your children. She normally goes to the house at the portraits of her children, and with that anointing, she touches, she, she touches the portraits and speaks blessings upon their children. Hallelujah. And she told me, when I did that, I saw my son getting a job. You see, it never took time. I was like, really? Yes. Why? There is no wastage in the anointings. Hallelujah. Therefore, number six, may this anointing remind us that we are the chosen generation. I am the chosen person. I am set apart. I am blessed. I am blessed. And therefore, you are acknowledged. Even the Spirit acknowledges you in the spiritual realm. Even wherever you are, the Spirit acknowledges you. May you be acknowledged. You have a look at what happened in Matthew 16, 18. After Jesus' commissioning, the voice came of acknowledgement that this is my son. Hear him. Praise the Lord. May we be acknowledged wherever we are in the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go home today, friends, the Lord has spoken to us. What we need to do, may the grace of the Lord tighten our belt of righteousness towards this journey of salvation. May it tighten our belt of righteousness. And as our parting shots, probably you've waited just like this person that had waited for 38 good years. And now you've hit the wall. You've got nobody to get hold of your hands. I've got good news for you. That the Lord will get hold of your hands today. I've got good news for you. That the Lord has come. Just for me and for you. I've got good news for you today. That the time has clocked. And now before you go. For that anointing. Anointing. I pray that you do a self-reflection. Are you ready to receive this? Are you ready to receive this? Am I coming as a tradition? May the Lord speak to us. Can we stand and pray? Karibu wangu we invite you to this special anointing done by the provost in the name of Jesus Christ. I should do your self reflection. Sing that song as you prepare your heart for this. Just sing it pole pole. May the Lord speak you talk to you in a very special way in Jesus mighty name. I want to welcome all of us to this wonderful service of anointing. We have many needs in our lives. Some of us are sick in our midst. There's something you are yearning for as we anoint you and pray for you that God is going to provide you as per your needs. Buana Aspia Sana. 
I want to welcome you to this service and we partake us of this anointing in Jesus name. Karibu sana. Na kwa nguvu zangu
as we thank God for what he has done for us this wonderful morning. Think about your life this wonderful day that God has taken you away from that challenge. We want to thank you, mighty Father, for this wonderful service of anointing. Thank you for all of us who have come forward for you, O oh Lord. As we begin this journey, O oh mighty Father, after anointing, I want to commit our God to bless us. If any of us has been having problems. We are praying that he are, they are healed in your name. That the pain that have been passing through in their lives, Lord, are taken away from them, O oh Lord. Give us a new, a new life afresh as we serve you. We want to commit everybody who is here today that, Lord, you are going to do wonders in us. Thank you, Lord, because you are Lord of our lives. We commit our lives to you. We surrender our lives to you. We surrender our being in you, O oh Lord and change us from now on, so that, Lord, we have become your children and do us by your will. Heal us. Areas we have not been able to ac accomplish in our lives, areas that have failed in us, just like the, what we read in Ezekiel, that, Lord, you are able to raise the bones from the, the fallen and make them fresh again. If there are bones in our lives that are broken away, that are, de that are dead, Almighty Father, restore them now. If there are areas in our lives that have not been fully uh, wishing, staying in a way that is pleasing before you, reinstate the mighty Father today. That, Lord, we begin a new life in our homes, a new life in our place of work. Even in our friendship and our partnership becomes afresh from now on in the name of Jesus. We commit every soul this wonderful morning. The Lord, you are going to touch every soul and touch every, all of us. Heal us now, Lord, and take away all those shortcomings in our lives. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We want to thank God so much as we conclude our prayers. I know most of you, when you came this morning, your friends, your neighbors, and those who are closer to you were able to send you with prayers. May we join all our prayers in the prayer of Saint Chrysostom as we pray together. Together, Almighty God. bring our united prayers to you and they are promised by your son, son that when two or three are gathered in we want to thank God so much and now the service and even the anointing will be completed. 
as we give God our offering, our tithe, our thanksgiving. And this is the moment now I want all of us to rise up and vow Him will lead us in a song as we give to our Lord Jesus Christ through our offerings and our thanksgiving. Vow. Sunday school and today we have uh, two guests uh, I'll ask them to be upstanding and to come in front uh, Roda Busolo uh, please you can come uh, let us continue to support this particular project and uh, so far we want to appreciate those who have given in kind those who have continued giving every Sunday we want to thank you and to appreciate for your contribution. And therefore, may I welcome uh, Rhoda to take us through this short moment of giving towards Sunday School. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time, that is his nature. So he is this morning. I praise the Lord. I thank him for having saved me. This morning, my name is uh, Roda Busolo, but I stand, as I stand here now for a few minutes, I'm not Roda Busolo. This team in front here uh, with the provost, they baptized me a few, uh, a few hours ago, or an hour ago, the name called Guest of Honor. So as I'm here, I'm new, I'm a Guest of Honor, 
the name have received, which is about two hours old or one hour old. So I want to welcome you, all of us, so that uh, we stand with this project of uh, Sunday School. We have been reminded, we have seen the work outside there as it's going on. We want to thank the Lord for those who have given, and I know all of us have given something up to now, but uh, we still continue giving. We still call upon you so that we may finish that project. And I know the Lord has blessed us and we are able. Say we are able. We are able. All of us are able. God has blessed us this morning with life, with health, and here we are to praise him in so many ways. And I just want to say, remind us in the Bible, there's that woman, that lady, who gave her all. It was the smallest. But what happened? She was the best. The best. Wanasema alipeana ngapi? So it doesn't matter what you are going to, it's what the Lord has blessed you with. The Lord knows you up to inside of your heart. So, and when he comes, we'll also support him. So I'm also syndicating Priscilla and also giving for that project uh, 3,000 shillings. <laughs> you know, I'm a grandmother of that Sunday school and soon I'll be a great grandmother. It's not far. It's just near here coming. So grandmothers, please come and support me. I want grandmothers first and grandfathers. Grandparents, come first. Wengine mkae kwanza. Just come and support me, please. Ama mahali uliko ni wevi yetu hata kama uwezi kuja. Ama hata hata ukikuja uki ninongonazea nitajua ile umesema. Grandmothers, grandparents. This is a youth service, but I know I'm seeing some grandmothers and some good. Thank you. Clap for them as they come. Actually, it's good to be a grandparent. Thank you. I've received uh, 1,000 from Mama Provos. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Nasuma has given us 500 on the phone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, grandfather. Now I'm left with the greatest, greatest and vibrant crowd. Those ones who are parents right now. Please come in large numbers. Parents, guardians. Tukuje. Watoto wetu tunataka wakue mahali pazuri. Leo tumekua anointed for the service of the Lord. Sivyo, tusisahau. Hata Reverend Pino ajatoka pale. Samesema tumekua anointed for the service of the Lord. This is part of the service of the Lord. We want to make that place beautiful, that place good. Watoto wetu wakikuja, watabarikiwa, wanapo ubiriwa hapa. A book club for those who are coming, please. Clap for them, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Mbori. I was looking at you and you are a grandmother and you are not coming. <laughs> thank you, Reverend Pino, my grandmother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. The baby has also supported. Thank you. I just want to say that even if you are not able to give today, we have a number, we have a church number, we have a pay bill. Just sent, maybe you are not, uh, this morning you are not prepared or, uh, thank you, thank you so, so much, Baba. You can still send through the pay bill because there is a place to write what you are paying for. And actually, if you write there Sunday School Project, it will go to Sunday School Project. As I've said, we thank you so, so much. You have been so uh, uh, supportive. You are great people. You heed to the calls. And that's why we have reached where we are. And I know by the grace of the Lord, we are going to complete that project. Amen? So tutamaliza. Jipigieni makofi. Asante sana. We can bring that basket down there. 
Mali popote ulipo unapoomba please remember Sunday school project under the leadership of our provost and uh, our nini unataka kuweka ingine enda ulete ingine tena enda waambie mami yako pe ingine ulete tuweke ingine enda waambie kuka enda waambie kuka akupe ingine ulete mtoto anataka tu kuleta ingine na kuleta ingine ataleta next so tukiomba please feel you have something you want to give it for for the Sunday school we welcome being in kind cement sand and all that to akaribisha sana kwa ajili ya kazi hii ya Sunday school so that at least at the end of uh, of our service at the end of this year maybe by May we will already have a Sunday school in place otherwise waje Mungu atubariki atuongoze and therefore let us pray and the peace of God keep us all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of the Almighty the Father the Son of the Lord Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always go in peace to love and to serve the Lord Thank you so much and God bless you. We are we are welcome another foul team to give us a song as we leave this service. Icho kwa di mwa rivalipo 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 Icho kwa di Oh, surely the presence of the Lord is here. Oh, surely the presence of the Lord is here. Oh, surely the presence of the Lord is here. Oh, surely the Lord is here. Oh, surely the presence of the Lord is here. Oh, surely. The Lord is here. Oh, surely the Lord is here. Oh, Oh yeah, I did that as I wish.